there's this water bottle standing right next uh, to one of my potted plants. I use this water all the time to water the plants, of course. And uh, this, of course, allowed my plants to grow quite well. But this was not the only thing that started to grow because on the bottom of this bottle, I saw some algae growing on the inside um, of the bottle. Now the water, I've always been exchanging on a regular basis. So every time when I, the bottle um, is empty, I added some more tap water, no fertilizer added, no fertilizer. And yes, uh, just after a couple of uh, months, um, I saw that there was this biofilm growing on the inside um, of the bottle. I mean, of course, I had to put it under the microscope, uh, but this was not the only thing that I was wondering. Why do other water bottles not have those algae growing? And these bottles here, I've been, or we've, my kids have been using for, for many months now. Well, at the end of the video. This here is actually part of the biofilm. Um, a very dense network of cells, uh, the individual cells at this magnification cannot yet be seen. Um, and I could see that the cells uh, were kind of densely packed uh, together. There were very few individual cells. So there seems to be some kind of a matrix uh, that kind of holds the cells uh, together, which kind of makes sense. After all, it's a biofilm um, that should not be washed away and those cells they like to grow on a surface. I went up with the magnification and I saw that there were indeed small moving organisms as well. Ciliates, flagellates, maybe some gametes, I don't know. Um, more um, investigations are in this case necessary. I know that some gametes of some microorganisms are, uh, also are able, uh, are motile and move around. Um, but in any case, uh, I saw uh, those uh, moving, um, yeah, crit critters um, as well. And uh, of course, uh, I also wanted to, to find out a little bit more about what these are, but it was kind of very difficult uh, to do so also because of uh, the small size. Um, could be pretty much anything. In any case, I was kind of surprised a little bit that um, those uh, motile microorganisms were not washed away by the water in general, but they seem to be quite closely associated uh, to, the, to the layer, to the biofilm layer as such. Well, um, at a higher magnification, the individual cells were visible um, uh, again, and uh, I could see that uh, the most of them were oval in shape, but some of them were also uh, rectangular. Yeah, now I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I have done. Of course, I had to cut apart the bottle um, I carefully have done this because I did not want to destroy the actual biofilm layer. I first placed a little bit of plastic directly on the microscope slide, but this didn't work quite as well because uh, the bottle was round and it was not quite flat. Okay, so this was actually a, um, a trial that I've done and everything smelled pretty much like algae. So it was actually not a very comfortable smell. Um, I probably would not want to drink the water from this bottle. Well, because uh, the plastic was not flat, I carefully tried to scratch off a little bit of this biofilm and luckily it was able to uh, remove, it could be removed quite easily. Um, I did not want to destroy so much the original structure of it. So I was kind of happy that the whole uh, biofilm actually came off in, in complete flakes. Um, and uh, yes, this uh, kind of preserved the original um, matrix um, a little bit. Everything of course uh, then went under the microscope, but I wanted to remove a little bit the excess water. You can see also that I like to use those very large cover glasses. Well, and then I actually saw a bubble. Nothing unusual, but this was an oxygen bubble and it was growing. So of course I had to do a little bit of time lapse here. Yes, of course it is photosynthetically active, uh, not surprising uh, that is. After all, these are most likely algae or maybe even uh, including maybe even photosynthetic bacteria. And here there is another um, oxygen bubble that is um, expanding. And again, in time lapse shows that uh, there is quite a bit of biochemical activity um, going on here, uh, going on here as well. Well, of course, you probably do want to now know the secret of the, uh, it's actually not really a secret, the answer to my initial question, why are there no algae growing in these bottles here? Well, that is because they are covered and there is no light uh, able to reach uh, the bottle. And this basically, of course, also inhibits the growth of photosynthetic organisms. So the cover is not only good for protecting the glass bottle from breaking, but also protects the contents uh, from actually forming, forming algae. Too dark, no light, no photosynthesis. Well, I think for today, this is enough. I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel if you like it. A big thank you to, of course, all of my Patreon supporters. Happy micro hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.